All right, welcome back to Twin Stick Garage. So, trying something new today. Oh wait, I gotta go look at that peak squirrel. Oh, look at that beauty. I couldn't, I could not come over here and take a closer look. Some stovepipe stacks. Oh, I like the color. Beautiful truck. All right. So, like I was saying, I'm uh, starting this new series on the channel called What's for Sale. Yo, what's for sale? And what I'm trying to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help out guys that are trying to sell their old semi trucks either on Kijiji or they just got a for sale sign in a yard. And what I'm going to do is go out there, I'll take a close look at the truck, let the owner tell me all about it. We'll go for a test drive. And maybe, just maybe, there's someone out there watching this that uh, that's in the Edmonton area or in the Alberta area that just might be interested in buying it. So I might be able to, to help him out. His name's Anton. And today what we're going to look at is a mid-80s international cab over. Edmonton Oilers back in the day when they kicked some serious ass. The 1988 Stanley Cup champions, the Edmonton Oilers have won it again. All right, I think that's it up there. There's a said it was a yard of the whole bunch of trucks. Oh, look at that cab over. It's got a custom paint job on it. There might be some vandals around. Beauty. Oh, an old 900. B model, an old Gibson's truck. Cool. Take a closer look at that. Old flat top. Nice. Oh, there it is, hiding back there. All right. Let's find a place to park. All right, Anton. Yep. Hey, Mark. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. All right. So show me your uh, show me your truck here. Oh, it's in good shape. What year again? 85. 85. Yeah. And how long you had it? Uh, around four years now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, she looks good. What's in it for a motor and all that? It's a big cam 400. Big cam 400 Commons, yep. Yeah. 13 speed. Oh, right on. Have you done any work to the engine or? Uh, trans? We, or? Added, um, um, we added a jake brake to it. We put ah. a set of dirty E in there because when we when I bought it, it had no jake brake. Yeah, yeah. Truck's not a truck without yeah. a jake brake. Yeah. Huh? I'm so with you on that. Put those on there. Nice. Rear end is 391. Any work done to that recently? Or? Yeah. Everything back here is new. Oh, really? Yeah. Everything back there is new, except for the housing. Huh. Um, yeah. Airbags are new. Yeah, I can tell you. Uh, you put a lot of work into it. Slack adjusters. Even the paint on there is new. <laughs> we extended the frame and painted it. Oh, it's been extended? Where was the cut? Uh, right here. We added another maybe five or so. Okay, you did yeah. the angle cut there. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. And how much did you add? Oh, that was the, that was the back there. Yeah, this was the original. The fifth oh, wheel. and then you slid everything yeah, back. The, the oh, fifth cool. Wheel was sitting right here. Yeah, so yeah. it was a short little it truck. It was short. Yeah, it was short. So we put about five feet, five and a half feet. Yeah, let's get a look at the length. Yeah, that looks way better. Yeah. Set up like that. Okay. Yeah. Good tires. Yeah, these tires, um, two and a half months, three months wear. Yeah. Yeah, there was a new, we got them next door to my wired tire next door. Okay, yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. So why are you selling it? It's a nice truck. You should put it to work, man. Yeah. And I'm a truck driver. <laughs> no rust jacking? Yeah. No, you know, with the way things are right now. I hear I'm you. Just, I'm, just, I'm just laying back and see how it goes. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. It's a shame you got to sell such a yeah, nice it's, unit. Yeah, it's nice. I yeah. love it. I love it. You put some serious work yeah. into it. So how long did all this take you? Uh, Was this a cutoff from a different truck, I'm guessing? Yeah. Yeah. That's why you shoved it into the rails there and yeah. then re-welded it? 
So what did it come off of? This came off uh, the the two bars came off our uh, Volvo. Okay. Yeah, but it was the same diameter, like the same width. To fit in there. To fit the other one. Yeah. Oh, nice. Cool. Well, let's take a look at the truck then. Yeah. Yeah, it's been sitting here for a little bit. <laughs> Does it got a plate on it so we can take it for a drive? Yeah, it's got a plate. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I had it running not too long ago. I just shut it off and saved some fuel. Well, let's fire it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Fuel ain't cheap. <laughs> oh, that starts nice. But that's just two batteries. Yeah, instead of the four. Yeah. All right, on. Get it out of there. I'll take a look inside. Uh, yeah, thanks, man. Oh, yeah. oh, the classic 70s. Shag carpet, even. Yeah, bet you this truck's got a few stories. International Eagle. Now, I wonder if this is a cable shift or linkage. Let's take a look underneath. Good oil pressure and dead idle. Oh, this is a nice truck. I should buy it. <laughs> no, Mark, that's not the point to go on a what's for sale trip. You can't buy every truck you see. How long have you been a trucker? Since 05, you were saying? Yeah, 2005. And I figured, why not get the truck I like, right? Because I thought about having one for myself. Oh, it's a beautiful yeah. cab. Where'd you find it? Uh, in Red Deer. In Red Deer, okay. And the previous owner, was it a farmer or was he actually using it? Or? No, actually it was a guy, um, he owned like a RV dealership or something. Okay. So he had it in the back of his RV yard. Yeah. And he was thinking about putting one of the wheels off and turning oh, it no. into a no. RV um, hauler, right? Yeah. So I just got it from him. He went the opposite direction. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I got the idea what it wanted to be. You know? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, does does he know what's the history on it? So before he had it, before you know where it was. Before he had it, he said some. He got it at an auction. Okay. At, uh, Brothers, he got it. No kidding. I wonder. It must have been. It could have been the Edmonton auction because I probably would have seen it. And but I did see a Saskatchewan sticker up by the C yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but he had it for over two years ago. Okay. And he was just sitting in the back of his RV yard. He never did anything with it. Nothing at all. Uh. He just drove it home and parked it. It's really cool. The height, it looks almost like the, the CL 9000s, like the Ford, the two story yeah, Fords. Yeah, yeah. It's really tall. Maybe it's because it's on 24s though. Yeah. yeah so it's 24s all around. So it, it lifts it up. A it does. Higher, yeah. It does look good. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Oh, right on. Yeah, that paint job on there. It's, yeah, it looks pretty new. new. Like, I did, it did, in, uh, did you put that on? Did you spray the paint? No. Oh, you no, had it done? I got it done. I love it. This and uh, frame was done at the same time. Yeah, I uh, I suffered through sanding off around all those huck bolts on my uh, Project Snowman truck, so oh, okay. I know how much work goes into these. Yeah, yeah. So is this a local shop here in Edmonton? Yeah. Uh, that one's oh, I got a lock. Okay. 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 This 
still can't get over the, the vintage 70s. Looks like a couch in someone's house. They're just moving some vehicles around to get that old International out. So we can take her for a ride down the road. So I thought I'd come over and look at this neat old V. a V model maybe it's newer well, I like the, the diamond tough there it was a rig truck had to shut off well I guess Gibson's probably around fuel and stuff is it a B yeah that's yeah, a flat glass B probably one of the last small opening yeah, could definitely use some cleaning this would be a nice truck though ah it's salt that's what happens when you run Alberta roads all winter the frames just get eaten up Anyone want a 12 valve? Look at that cute little turbo. All right, so the forklift wasn't gonna move the the old dead shaker. So we cleared a bunch of stuff out of the way and now Anton's gonna try and get it. Wiggle the old International out of there. That is a good looking truck, I have to say. And rare, you just don't see that many old International cattlers like that. That's your wife? Yeah. Oh, right on. She's just waiting for you to go home? Yeah. <laughs> I told her I was here and she works close by. Oh, okay. She just yeah. came by. Yeah. Oh, this is cool, Anton. You sure you want to sell this truck? I'm not sure. My <laughs> God, man. We are so high up in the air here. This is crazy. This is seems way higher than my Kenworth. <laughs> So you said you were working this truck a little bit? Yeah, I worked it for a little bit hauling sea cans and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, so a little bit of flat neck bed work. But I mean, it's nice. I like driving it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Now, is that a cable linkage or is it actual direct links it's, to the trans? It's linkage. Yeah. It's, it's actual linkage. Yeah, okay, cool. It's not a cable. Yeah, I hear the cables are awful. Yeah. It's a mean looking shadow. So what else? Everything works on the truck? Everything works. 
we're just gonna let it warm up for a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. The jake break on there. Oh yeah. yeah. We don't want to be too hard on that old Cummins. No. So you got to swing a little wider because of that longer back end. A little bit. A little <laughs> bit. <laughs> You didn't do anything to the interior, it's just the way no, it's the way you bought it? That's the way I got it. Nice. Yeah. They got all the curtains missing, so the little ladder is just the curtain. Yeah, the little uh, yeah. connectors are. Yeah, it's just a little pins for the curtain. <laughs> I'm digging the shag rug. That <laughs> takes me back. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's yeah. it's a great truck. It hasn't truck. been driven for a little bit, so I mean, a little stiff. Yeah, a little stiff, but it's a head turner. Man, we were high up with this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, she rides nice. Good old cab over, needs a little weight back there. Yeah. Soften it up a bit. Yeah. But at least it's on bags. That's a one, two, three. Yeah. Like high and low. Yeah. yeah. Nice. What else can you tell me about it? Other than it's a working truck. No wiring heater. issues you had? Nothing? Heater works. All that stuff? Yeah. You see the heater? Yeah. Just pushed out that piece of cardboard there. Yeah. 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 The heater works. Everything works. Like lights, clearance light, everything works. It's a nice working truck. I wish I had my own jobs to go and to keep it, uh, yeah. to pay for it, to yeah. justify it yeah. having it. But yeah, I'm with you. You know, depending on somebody else to give you work, and they don't have work two days out of the five, you know. Oh, well, it's, it's hard to justify yeah. throwing five thousand dollar insurance on it, getting yeah. it CVIP. Yeah. And like you were saying. A lot of the big companies, they don't want these old trucks. Yeah. They want oh. e-logs and they it has to be only, you know, yeah. two years old. They want new stuff. Yeah. It's changed. But as a farm truck or if someone had their own stuff to haul, this would be a hell of a unit. Yeah. That old Cummins has some snap. Cab overs, you're the, you're the first one to the scene of an accident. <laughs> <laughs> you see over everything. Oh, yeah. Funny enough, my cab over didn't have Jake's either. So I had to, I had a, a fan send me or uh, tell me about a spare engine he had that had the Jake heads on it. So I just okay. swapped the Jake's over, but I haven't yeah. run it since. Oh, okay, yeah. But yeah, you don't want a cab over without Jake's. It's no. just it's just no fun. I mean, especially in Canada, like Alberta, neighboring BC, you need that, right? Oh, in the mountains for sure, yeah. If I had the money in the space Anton, I'd buy it. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you
you asking for it? I'm asking 46 is listed right now. 46, but okay. I'm open to negotiation. Any trades or you want the cash? I'd rather do cash. Yeah. Because we're, we're not right now in Edmonton. I want to see what what the trucking is, where the trucking is going, you know? I'm with you on that, yeah. I want to lay off for a little bit and see where we end up. Because, I mean, post COVID, you know? Yeah. It's, it's a it's different changed. ball game, right? It sure yeah, is. Yeah. It sure so, is. yeah, I just want to see where it goes from there, then I probably get something different because I know nothing else but trucking, you know? Uh, good for you. Yeah. So, yeah. And if I'm not contacted by uh, the 17, I probably bring it to the Richie Brothers auction. Oh, you're gonna take it to the Richie Bros? Yeah, yeah. I already spoke to them about it, and they take a big cut, though, don't they? Yeah, they take their percentage, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's better than sitting here, somebody's vandalizing it, right? Yeah, no, that's true. I saw the uh, someone yeah. tried to do a custom paint job on that yeah. freight liner so, there. If any of your viewers are interested in it, well, I've got 20, your contact. Twenty fifth, twenty fifth of this month is probably gonna be at that auction. It's going to auction. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll see. For my American friends and viewers out there, yeah. forty six is like what twenty U.S. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford not to buy it. Yeah. Well, I sure hope someone out there is interested in it. They can uh, reach out to me, twinstickgarage@gmail.com. Or I'll put Anton's contact info in the in the description. But yeah, it's uh, a beautiful truck, man. I sure hope I can help you sell it. Yeah, man. Thanks. Appreciate it.